Hello. Hello. Uh, we are at Southampton ready to go to the Isle of Wight for our short break. Yep. Four days. Five. The sun is out. The sun is out, yeah, which is quite a thingy because it's been raining all the way down. But this will be a, maybe a one or a two part of vlog uh, of the Isle of Wight again. Last time we went was 2021, August, so nearly two years. Anything to say, Sam? No. 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 <laughs> anyway. Uh, Just looking forward to it. A break. Okay. <laughs> anyway, stick around, we'll see you later. passengers when returning to the car deck to hold on to the handrails and take extreme care at all times. I should also like to remind passengers that smoking is strictly forbidden on the car deck. Morning guys, uh, first proper day yesterday was a long day, I was absolutely exhausted doing all the driving and um, made a drink so late as well, this doesn't help, no hangover thankfully. Welcome to uh, Freshwater Bay, we absolutely loved this place two years ago when we came, I think we're spending a day 
round the sea. The beach is uh, quite stony, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna get in to the sea, I think, by the looks of it. There's people already swimming as well, which is great. It's very calm, it wasn't it? It's never been this calm. This is like supposed to be the hottest day for us. So we're gonna, we were gonna go to the, I get the name wrong, we're gonna go to the little model village where you can walk around it. I think it's God's Hill, I think, but we're gonna do that later. We are gonna be having, we're having dying for, because last time was amazing, uh, fish and chips, all caught just off the coast of the Isle of Light. And uh, yeah, right up my street. This hotel, the Albion, is being done up now. There's a big chain, I've got it. These rooms here, they're gonna turn this into massive double suites. They're gonna be an absolute bomb, whatever it will be. So they're completely doing it up, making it to a nice restaurant, everything. So whatever that is, that is going to be probably four, five hundred pound a night. I would have thought. In terms of what we're going to do this week, we're just going to wing it. The model village we've wanted to do. We're only here till Sunday. It's Thursday now, so we've got a couple of things we're, we're going to visit a little bit different. But I think it's too nice a day. It feels about twenty-five at the moment. It just feels like too nice a day to go exploring. We could have a day by the beach, and when we went away to Greece in May, sounds silly, but we didn't do anything by the beach. Not really a sunbather by the beach, but I do love swimming. So as long as it stays as calm, because this can get quite swirly and quite, uh, you know, the tide will pull you. But there's people there who are swimming and miles out over there, so it must be quite good today. This is looking really good. So big thanks to Antintina again. Freshwater Bay, letting us stay here. Honestly, outstanding. It's worth the travelling, definitely. So if we, we're staying a bit longer, but it is what it is because of holidays and stuff. And then we've got a holiday to Tenerife in September. So we've got to sort of keep our holidays together, especially Sam. Unfortunately, she gets less than me, so we've sort of got box clever on that. But there, today when we go over to the, we'll be over here on this side, I think, as well. So we're going to make a real day of it. We're going to go for a walk first, I believe, with the dogs. Get them knackered. Probably going to leave them in for a few hours and then keep going back because it's too warm for them. It's half nine in the morning, so absolutely spectacular. I'll just have a walk round the other side just to where the uh, beachy bit is. And big thank you to everyone who watched the uh, Asian View reviews. I know there's a few on there. It's helped quite a lot of people. I've seen and it has got improved, but there is still people commenting on TripAdvisor that all the stuff we experienced is the higher you go up in the complex from like the main reception area, nothing seems to have been rectified. So it's just such a shame that because it's been a great week, lovely people we met and everything, but it was just such a shame. And they just didn't care at times and it was, I'd like, but enough about that. You've seen them vlogs, so I'll put a link up here so you can watch them if you want to. And then I've done a tour of COS as well, the walking tour that we did as we were walking around. Anyway, back to the Isle of Wight. This is spectacular that it's right next to Aventina's house. I mean, they come and stay with us, and we were like, no. We've treated them to a few things, we'll keep treating them because this, this is just like a free holiday and we're totally appreciative. When they come to ours, they come in the big campers and they're like, yeah, we stay yours. It's like, there's not much to say between the Isle of Wight and these spectacular views and a rainy Manchester afternoon. There's absolutely, and they're both from Manchester, that area, but um, there's just nothing to say really. What's really strange is because you're off the island, uh, on the island, is uh, not everyone, but everyone, we have, we've passed loads of people and everyone knows each other. So it's really nice. You do meet people when you're at home and it sounds like everybody 20,000 miles away or something, but there's a sense of community on somewhere like this, which is really nice. So we'll see how the week goes. 
Anyway, we'll just have a walk down here. So this is, as I say, it's a uh, freshwater bay. That bus was here last time and it serves drinks and food. There's a guy to the left in this uh, hotel, the Albion. He uh, is doing pizzas and stuff. So we're gonna try that at some point. Um, if you go left here on this, this bit here, about a mile down there is Tesco's. It was co-op, but it's now Tesco's because last time we were here, they were clearing it, or Sainsbury's might have been, they were clearing it all out from Sainsbury's. But yeah, it's a Tesco. So it's less, about, about a mile away for you, I know that. Cyclist. Um, so this is just a brief view why we love this place. I mean, it's only the second time we've been, but we want to make it a yearly thing as long as that antenna levels. Um, it's amazing, honestly, such a lovely place. So I'm just going to go back and get everyone. So hopefully you'll see us walking the dogs for a bit. There's a nice little surf shop. This was open last night, little uh, cafe and everything. People talking outside, it's really good. So Antinas is there. There's my car, the white one, there's their camper. Um, bottom of that, um, it's an old B&B, but it's massive, honestly. It's absolutely huge. They've got it set up so well. smells nice I'm doing the uh, intermittent fasting currently stone and a half off since Greece I'd started before Greece because I was uh, been piling it back on even though I'm training well, what's been going on hit 40 and your body just goes I don't think so so um, well, that smells lovely that bacon so we're not eating till dinner time but not depriving myself there is a fish chips peas bread with my name on it at some point so anyway there's on so i'm gonna watch him and watch him and we'll see you soon
Uh, Saturday, it's our last final day, and some would say a typical English day. <laughs> it's raining, what a contrast we've had all week. We've had lovely weather, uh, it's been sunny, a little bit of cloud here and there, but nothing too bad. Uh, the odd spot of rain, but you know, we've, we've all got burned and that, and it's been such good fun again on the Isle of Wight. We're going to uh, the waterfront where we were last night when we did fishing, we actually had fish and chips. I watched the sunset and a drink and that and today we're going to go actually inside the waterfront restaurant which is right near where we were parts and did the sunset thing because uh, it's just the weather's just bobbing today so uh, even though this is such a beautiful place there is no way i'm going anywhere near that sea today <laughs> proper blustery and it's really nice actually because every morning people locals go swimming and i think if we live somewhere like this i probably would go swimming every day
Bye. 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 Bye.